Hey YouTube, this is Tim. Um, show what I picked up this weekend. I didn't go into any garage sales. Friday was kind of bad weather, and Saturday um, I had to go out of town all for most of the day. Um, got back late that evening, so um, and so instead I picked up a couple things from people off of Facebook. Uh, this first thing I messaged this lady off there um, Thursday night, and we didn't end up meeting up until Sunday during the middle of the day. It's a box of cameras. Um, I, one thing that's not in here, I did sell this Polaroid uh, $27.99 to Retrospect because that's who buys Polaroids off of eBay. Um, that was in here and everything else I haven't really touched yet. I did test a couple of these. Uh, there's also a nice little picture of a camera somebody painted. I don't know if that's worth anything, but that came with the box. So, um, I'll show you what else I got in here. This is an older model. I think I might have overpaid for all these, um, including the Polaroid. I paid $40. Um, I didn't really get a good look at it until I went there to buy it. And I'll make my money back at least and probably a little bit extra, but it's not going to be anything like amazing. Um, it's an older 35mm uh, Minolta. It's a, let's see if you can see that, Maxim 300 SI. I mean, I don't think it's worth a whole lot. I haven't tested this one yet. Really, really good shape. Uh, I think this lady had somewhat of a camera collection, and this was this was the part she was getting rid of. Um, I think it takes a specialized battery. Yeah, I have to find a battery like that. Let's see if I got anything or can find one cheap. Uh, next, we got this old Canon Power Shot, and I actually use a Canon Power Shot. That's a look kind of a little bit newer than this. Um, this is a PowerShot S2IS. Um, it's really clean also. I put some batteries in it. It does power on. I put a memory card in there earlier. I've already taken it out though. And it does take pictures. Everything works on it as far as I can tell. It's nice and clean. It is an older model though. don't think it's worth a whole lot. I might make a little bit off of it. Um, next we got this thing. This is a Kodak. I can't remember what it's called. The name of it was right there, but this plate has been knocked off. Um, I did put batteries in this one also. It takes four, four double A's. Um, it's like a, uh, kind of like a Polaroid. Um, it takes a film cartridge in the bottom. I did figure out which um, model it was, but I cannot remember right now. Um, they're not worth a whole lot. I think this strap might actually be worth more than the camera right now. And I might actually just take it off and see if it will sell separately. Alright, so what else? Uh, this thing is like a belt strap. You know what, this box is just kind of in the way. This thing is like a belt strap uh, mount. I don't know exactly how you use that. Camera goes in there, straps around your waist. I guess I think it's for a flash, like a something. Um, I see a couple of these listed. Don't think I sell a whole lot of them selling, but a couple of them did sell. It extends out. It's a SEMA S I M A brand, which I'm not a like I'm not a camera expert or anything. I just buy stuff like this to learn about them. And the last thing in here, the last thing in here is this thing, a Sony Digital Mavica. It's a pretty old camera. Um, lighting's not great like always, but it has still has the battery in it, which I charge the battery. Um, it actually has a. Let me get this out of here. Takes pictures, pictures on a three and a half inch floppy disk. It's kind of cool actually. And has the battery charger. So I charge the battery and it actually works. It does flash and says stamina right there when you first turn it on, but I think that might just be it powering on. Um, helps if I take that off. But it does seem to work. And I don't remember how to take a picture. I think I might have moved too fast. 
Of course, you can go to play and see what picture you took. So it is 100% working. It says it has 143 minute battery life. So, and the date on it is 1999. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I looked these up. I know the chargers go for about $10 or so. Um, I've seen a couple of people selling the batteries. I've seen a couple of these on there. Uh, one or two of them have sold. But just like a, this is another one, really good shape, really clean, works good. So it might actually sell. We'll see if I can make anything off of that. And that was all for those cameras. I paid I paid forty dollars for the whole lot. I don't know if I mentioned that. But I mean it's 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 worth it for the just the knowledge to try to get some knowledge more about cameras. And I knew the Polaroid would sell instantly. I bought everything at, on Sunday at 1.30. I left that lady's driveway, got back home, had that Polaroid listed by two. And Sunday's retrospect doesn't pay quite as quick for some reason. I guess it's their day off maybe. It's all automated probably. But, and they bought the camera I think at 3.36. So two hours after I bought the camera, I had it sold. So that's one good thing about Polaroids. They, they, they flip really fast. So also Thursday night, I messaged a guy about these. Uh, I believe this is what they call a hog board, which hog, uh, what I understand is Harley Owners Group. And he had this listed on Facebook Marketplace, one of $50 for it. Offered him 40, he said, sure, just come pick it up tomorrow. So Friday night, he finally got back a hold of me. It's like, I'm ready if you want to come get it. I brought him $40 and he gave it to me. Uh, some of those are really cool. I don't know how well they'll show up on here. But yeah, they're some pretty cool pins. I could go through all of them, but that would make an even longer video. <laughs> kind of get an idea. And some of them, like, that one's a Razorback pin, and then there's the McDonald's pin. Not all of them are Harley pins, but a good bit of them are. And I think I will definitely make more than enough to get my money back. I took my camera off the tripod. I figured I'd get better shots. Kind of get a look at all these. Yeah, a lot of them are just uh, like different meetups and stuff. And then you got some of the, like this one is Harley Owners Group. Uh, 10,000 mile, 25,000 mile, and 40,000 mile. 40,000 hog miles. I don't know if you can see that. It's not really focusing real well. But yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of really cool Harley pins on here. And I know some of them, some of them sometimes are worth a lot. I don't know anything about these. That's another thing I'll, I'll learn. It's worth it just to learn. And I know I'll probably get my money back out of these. And then a lot of these places that they pick these up are going to be in Texas. Because to I me, mean, that's where I'm at in Texas. And like neighboring places, like there's an Oklahoma one. Uh, that was Louisiana. Kind of just trying to get you a, a full picture of everything. And one other cool thing about these too is the guy, I guess he, he was an older guy, and uh, he was. There's one missing too. It was missing when I sold, he sold it to me. But uh, he was an older guy and he said he was moving to an apartment. He had this little office there. He was showing me around a little bit. He had a whole bunch more Harley stuff. I don't know exactly what all he had. But um, he was telling me that he had some more stuff and he was getting rid of most of it. And if I was interested, he was going to keep me on his messenger. And he would message me first and let me take a look at whatever whatever he had for sale and decide if I wanted it or not. If not, then he just put it on Facebook and try to get rid of it that way. But in my experience, selling stuff on Facebook kind of becomes a pain sometimes. And that's kind of a tip too. If you, if you want to buy stuff off of Facebook, make sure you communicate with people because people 
won't communicate with you. <laughs> it's just a fact. At least around here anyway. There's been several times where I message people. They don't answer for a week, then they mark it as sold. Or if I try to sell stuff, they'll message me and say, I want to come to this day and look at it, and then you'll never hear from them again. It's just the way it works. I mean, you got to deal with people like that. But anyway, so that's all I got this weekend. Uh, not much of a haul, but I think I got some cool stuff, especially with these pins. So thank y'all for thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.